my friends. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a great day. I am having a wonderful day. I've accomplished so much already this morning, but I thought I'd get around to this earlier, and I didn't. I did clean my table with some um, Barbasol. If you don't know what Barbasol is, it is a wonderful shaving cream uh, of olden days. Wonderful stuff. I love it for cleaning things because it makes things smell good too. Um, most of the stuff came off my desk, but then I pulled out my little glass table. But I'll show you. It's so, it's so clean. Everything smells so nice. And my glass thing is a little dirtier, but I washed it too. Anyway, I got some paper the other day from my mother. I think I've told you guys already that uh, she's a custom framer. I was a custom framer for years. And um, in all of that, uh, we got to see a lot of neat stuff. Things that people just left behind. Um, so in all of that, she found the other day, she found some um, envelopes that are... Uh, rag mat, rag cotton, and um, she gifted them to me, and they are just a fantastic, fantastic paper. I just love it. So I thought, since she gave those to me, we would try her favorite flower that I make. Make sure you guys are still in frame. Everything's going well. Yes, it is. Okay. Um. Her favorite flavor, flower, favorite flavor, I don't know what her favorite flavor is, but um, her favorite flower that I make, anyway, is uh, what she calls a cotton flower or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. I'm sure when she watches this, she'll put it in the description, but um, it's really simple, and I just wanted to come on here really quick and show you how easy this is. Um, all I do is... And this is the first time I'm trying this paper like this. So if it doesn't work, then you may not see this. But I just kind of scribble some water, you know, with whatever paintbrush I am feeling at that moment. And this one's not exactly what I'm used to doing this with, but um, yeah. I'm just going to scribble some water on there. That was just a regular paintbrush that I got somewhere in a package. This is a... Uh, uh, my Aqua Elite Brinson Tint Brush Long Round Number Six, and um, yeah. So what I do is I just kind of scribble some water. Sounds weird to actually say it out loud, but yeah, I scribble some water, and then I get some color, whatever I'm feeling that moment, whether it's red or purple or yellow or blue, or and I just start dropping it in. Especially right down here at the base. It's nice when you have a nice little um, point on there. Because then you can take that point and you can make it uh, make pretty little, little lines around. Make some little, make it look like there's petals. You know what I mean? Then we're going to rinse that off a little bit. And we're going to hit it with something a little darker. A little more saturated. You can actually have to get some. And we're just going to do it again. Same thing. See, now this is not what I expect of my watercolor papers to do. But, like I said, we're practicing here. We're seeing. We're experimenting. Because this is what I like to do. I like to see. I know people tell you all the time. To do this, you have to do it this way. To do that, you have to do it this way. I'm just not that person. If somebody tells me there's absolutely no way you can do that, I will be like, oh, really? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Let me see if I can prove you wrong. Because I like to prove people wrong. It's weird. I was born that way, I think. If you ask my parents, they'd probably say, yeah, holy cow. 
Oh my stars, that woman is constantly trying to... Why? Why can't I? Always full of questions. It's not bad. Being full of questions is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. So anyway, so I make a cotton puff. It's usually not like that. We're going to do it on different paper too because, like I said, this is, we're just playing. We're seeing what happens, right? I say, you just take my little, my, I take a stem. Give him a little base, give him a little depth, give him a little something right there. But before we do that, I would like to give him something to stand on, make him on some ground, because I know there are lots of people who like to have just the flower floating in the air, but for me, I just feel like it needs to have a place to sit. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to either. So see, not everything goes the way you want it to. So then we just take this little, give him a little leaf. Now, if I didn't do this flower, I think it would have worked better. If I would have just painted a regular flower on there, I think it would have worked a lot better and it would have been absolutely fantastic because, I mean, this takes, it takes the paint nicely. It just doesn't doesn't disperse and even the worst watercolor papers disperse the paint so I'll be right back okay now this is not watercolor this is um, a paint a paper that is just like a, a multimedia paper so it's not anything to write home about either this is just just for practice. Let's just see what happens. Let's compare the two. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. A little poofy flower. And we're going to just give it some of the same stuff. Now, look at the difference. And this is just like some paper we used the other day. Uh, I don't remember which one it is. But it's, it's just a multimedia paper, and it's a completely different outcome with that one. Completely different. I love it. It's just, it's pretty. I'm going to get a little bit more of this really, really, really dark red. Alizarian Crimson from oh, Daniel Smith. And hit it again with that. Let's get a little extra, because it's not showing up that much. I want it to be dark down here. And look at that. Look at it go. I hate wasting paint. It goes away to not waste it. I'll be so on that. I hate wasting it in the water. I hate wasting it on paper towel. It irritates me. Okay, now we're going to give it a little bit of um, a stem. Just real quick, and this is uh, Under the Sea Green by Daniel Smith. I like his stuff, or its stuff, or whoever Daniel Smith is. Boy, would I like to meet him and have all of the colors. All of the colors. Lots of the colors. We're just going to take, give it a little swoop. And now I gave it the leaf right away because I know this one will give me ground. And I like that. Yeah, you can see it. That is pretty. So then you can always take uh, some neutral tint and go in and just give it a little something something here and there maybe make it have some extra leaves extra petals excuse me but this is the flower 
that I like to make. This is my mom's favorite flower. This one's not exactly because I made her some and she's going to put them on her wall. Pretty excited about that. Can't wait to see it. And you see how I grabbed some of that? I grabbed a little bit of it that was there already and it just comes right back. Isn't that cool? Okay. That's my favorite flower. Now, let's try it on a really good piece. Okay, so this is a piece of B paper. This I don't use often because I only have a few sheets of it left. And I don't know if I'm able to get more. Um, it's 100% cotton. It's a nice heavy duty paper. It's not as thick as some. But it's a really fine paper. I like it. Um, but like I said, I don't use it very often because I only have a little bit of it. But let's see what happens if we put... A nice amount of a scribbly leaf, scribbly petals. We'll make this one nice and big. This could be on a card or it could be um, a bookmark or just a piece of art. So see, I have all of the papers. And I love all the papers. They all have their purpose, their place. Please, if you're just making cards, if you're just making something for a friend, or you're just playing around and you're not going to be a super duper artist, don't think that you have to do what everybody says and go out and buy the most expensive of everything. Because you just don't. You can. You can buy some really good paint. You can buy some really good paper. You can buy whatever you want to buy. But you don't. It's not. It's not one of those things that's going to be like, oh my goodness. She gave me a card and she painted it on the crappiest paper. <laughs> Nobody's going to say that. And please. If you're going to make cards and you're trying to be on a budget cut cut your paper take your sweet time but cut the paper I'm saying take your sweet time with your leaf I'm sorry two different thoughts in my head at the same time cut the paper down don't use an entire sheet of really fine paper to make a card out of the entire thing. I know. If you buy cards pre-made, do it. Go ahead. That's fine. I mean, Arteza has some really nice ones. I recommend it. Um, but if you're just going to make a card, you can use any cardstock paper for the base, for the folding part of the card. Make a pretty something like this and then put it, put it on the outside. Stick it to it, glue it to it, whatever you want. But now you see the differences in the papers. And how would I have known that this kind of paper reacts the way it does if I wouldn't have tried it, right? This one I got a little overzealous. It would have been fine. But I did. I got a little overzealous with this one. But it's still nice. It's fine. And if you get too much on there, you just clean your paintbrush. Dry it off a bit. And see if you can't get a little, little bit of that off of there. With the... Um, multi-purpose paper it's not as easy but it still works and the more I look at this the more I really like this little guy and I like crazy shapes of paper I just do the little shape of the paper makes me happy but now you can see 
This is paper that was made into these massive envelopes more than likely something that you uh when you order a print it comes in that because it's protective the people had no use for them so they left them behind my mom gifted them to me this is a regular multi-purpose paper and it did a fine job you could just thought about this <laughs> I said I cleaned off my desk I did I cleaned off my desk but I had this big old glob right here of this P.H. Morton pen white and you can as you can see you can reactivate it easily so I'm just going to get some really creamy stuff and put it back up in here make that more of what I wanted it to be. Look at that. I wonder what that's going to be like when it dries. Only time will tell. But I want you to try making some little flowers. If you see this and you really like this and this is what you want to do, then I say get you some pretty paper. Get you some sweet little papers and, and see what, what you come up with. And uh, you can always give it a little extra. You need a little extra water. Give it some extra leaves. Petals. Excuse me. I always say leaves. I'm silly that way. I say leaves. I say silly things like Sometimes when I'm looking in the mirror, I say window. <laughs> just silly. Okay, I'm not going to touch it anymore. Anyhow, just a nice short little something for you guys to see today. Um, I enjoy making these kind of flowers. Hopefully you will too. I will talk to you later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Much love and peace to you all. Please tag me at... The Painting Turtle 28. If you try this, I would love to see it. You can post your pictures anywhere on social media and put that little hashtag in there. And it will show up all together. You'll see other people's too, if anybody ever does. Um, give it a like. Let somebody else see this video and send it to a friend. Um, subscribe to my channel, which doesn't cost anything. You can subscribe. You can hit the bell notification. Those things don't cost you a penny. It just helps me get better, more seen on YouTube. So if you like this, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you later. Much love and peace to you all. God bless to everyone. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Okay, I fibbed. I said it was over. It's not. Ha ha ha. Okay, so the other day I showed you uh, creamer paints. And um, the, I had the really heavy gold one out. Though this is a very light gold. Light, light, light gold. It's absolutely lovely. And I thought, since we're playing around, let's play around a little extra. And I'm just going to hit it with a little drip of water. Just a little bit, just to activate it. I'm not going to do anything to this one because I think this one is good. Maybe just a little bit on the leaf or something just to give it a little zhuzh. But, but like this one, I really like this one. I think it is, it's got its own style. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love it. It's gorgeous. So let's see what happens. This is like so fun to play with this. I love gold. I love all the sparkly things. Sparkly paint, sparkly sparkles. Let's see what happens. Same paintbrush. I just had this like thought. It may not work. 
as I said, this video may go into the trash bin. <laughs> just kidding. But I thought maybe just a little. Make some little petals. This is my flower. This is our flower. You can do whatever. It doesn't have to be a real flower even. You can do whatever your little heart desires. You can make it. You can make it a sparkly flower that's just just woken up from a long winter's nap. Or you can make it just a little sparkly flower that's just woken up in your yard or in your imagination. Why not? I like it. Look at how fancy that turns. And we're going to just give it a little bit. Look at that. Look what that did to it. Just made it fancy. All of a sudden. Now, who wouldn't like to have that? Can you see the sparkles? Who wouldn't like to see this on their card that they got from you? You could cut the, this off. You don't have to have that. But yeah, look at the cuteness. Just give it a little zhuzh. Some little happy, happy golden times. You don't have to do the whole thing in gold. You can just, just a little bit here and there. I like it. Okay, we're just going to leave that one alone. We're going to try this one. As I've said before, if you're going to use sparkles, please make sure you rinse out your cup. Rinse out your paintbrush really good. And before we do that, I'm just going to give this one just a little bit of a, just a hint. Because I can. I just like gold. Okay, and now we're going to see what we can do with this guy. And we're going to, I'm probably off camera. There we go. I don't want to be off camera. Come on. There we go. Better. Okay, so we're just going to. And I can hear my tummy. My tummy's a little hungry. It's like, hello. So, yeah. If you ever mess something up, or it's just not quite what you had in mind, I mean, it doesn't have to be a complete mess up. Maybe you just put gold on it because you want to. Why not, right? This one I'm being a little heavy handed. I think it's just because this is the way it turned out. It turned out kind of heavy handed, it feels. But it's fine. It still could end up on someone's card. It could be a fine, fine, fine. And petals don't always have to be like straight lines. Petals are wiggly. Petals are like, oh my goodness, they're all over the place. A little water, a little gold. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. I like it better. I was like, dude, I don't want to leave it where I'm just like not real happy with this guy because that's my biggest thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I have all the kinds of fancy paints. I have the fancy paint brushes and the fancy papers. Sometimes it's just nice to see what you can do with something that's not quite the norm. You can watch anything and see people doing stupendous art that you can look at and be like, I'll never be able to do that because I do that. 
I have done it for years. I've looked at YouTube channels and, and thought, there's absolutely no way I can do that. But now, I'm just like, I'm going to try. I am most definitely going to try. And why not? There's no reason to why not. Just try. Make a card. Make a pretty little card. Send it to a friend. Go to the hospital. Give it to the someone in the hospital that you don't even know. Why not? Be kind. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll, I'll start bringing some of the cards that I make to the hospital just to give them away. So, now we went from the bee paper with just one little of gold, one little teeny tiny smidge of gold, and the multimedia paper, which I think kind of got messed up, but I think we've kind of saved it as well. I also think that you could take a little bit of, this is, I think this is purple. This is a, a different one, a different paint. You could also just make this a little darker. Yeah, look at that. Well, that kind of made it zhuzhy, huh? A little zhuzhed it right up. I don't know the defin definition of zhuzh. My husband said, what is a zhuzh? I'm like, it makes it like sparkly and happy. It makes it parody. And then we took this one, which was on the fancy paper that my mom gave me, and gave it some gold. I think that one might be my favorite one. I may have to give this to her. Because that may be my favorite one now. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Okay. So, this is the end. This is the end. I'm not coming back again. But this is the end of the video. And I want you to try this. I want you to sit down with some paper. And even if you get the Crayola watercolors, you know, just the children's version of watercolors, you can mix them into fun colors and or you could just use them the way they are i like the bright colors i like straight up bright colors on a picture um so yeah tag me like this give it a thumbs up tag me at hashtag the painting turtle and let me know when you have made yourself a beautiful card i want to see it i want to see a flower and Share this video with a friend and subscribe to the channel. And what else? Hit that little button that looks like a bell. And have a great day. And much love and peace to you all once again. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.